Well, hello there. I'm having some problems with my Discovery One. I'm getting air in the diesel, and I need to know what sort of state my fuel lift pump is in. So I'm going to remove it, and I'm going to test it on the bench to see what sort of flow we got. So, yeah, here I've taken the top off. This is a Delphi aftermarket fuel pump. It means you can leave the top intact and not have to disturb those unions, which is always handy because you can get air leakage in them. So yeah, this is the old pump and there's the filter because it's looking quite clean. Now the pump is just held on by two 10 millimeter bolts, slightly tricky to access through the little labyrinth of wires going to the injector pump, but it is possible to fashion something up which can be turned, as you see here, with a spanner on the end of a bar and a little adapter and a 10 mil socket. I bagged the stuff up to keep it clean. Here's the old pump coming out. And uh, let's give this a bit of a test on the bench in the workshop. Okay, so I've attached the funnel to this pipe, which is going to go into the top pipe, which is the filler. I shall have my assistant to fill the funnel and we shall pump it by hand and see what comes out of here. Okay, so this is the arrangement. Basically, it's in a vice. Be careful how tightly you clamp it in a vice because this pump is made of cast and it's not going to withstand too much pressure. Okay, so we've got this all rigged up and let's see what sort of state we get out of the old lift pump. Okay, here we go. Let's give it a pump. Well, that's quite an impressive rate of fuel flow. That's very good to know. I think this pump is fine. So let's compare it against the new pump and see if I've actually just wasted a load of money in buying one. It never hurts to have a, a spare, especially if you're going on tour. This is the new pump. I've kept the old top on it, uh, just for simplicity really and consistency. So let's see how the new pump fares. And once again, that's a very healthy fuel, fuel flow. Try saying that after six pints. And this happens every two rotations of the camshaft. So that's really useful. That's helped me a lot. I hope it helps you. Um, we'll be producing some other videos, um, stuff to do with the olives and replacing the fuel sender unit, if that's of any use to you. Keep an eye out and please do subscribe. Thank you for watching. I'm still having some problems. I fed the engine director of the pump, not this one, this is the old one. Um, and it ran fine. But I have noticed that my new pump doesn't seem to climb. You can really see that here. Yeah. The pump, you can definitely feel some resistance at the end of it. But it's coming out, it's cranked off a little bit more, see what we got. Now this is the old one, and this one operates in the way that is mentioned in the manual. Insofar as this has a rest position, and it should click, stay down, and the pumping action is this. So I've rigged this up just to sort of see what sort of rate of flow we're getting right here. Because so let's go. So as you say, push down, get a click, or engagement of new layer. You see here? Look. See, I had a bit of squirt there. Down again. Here it comes there. You may have even seen it spinning all over my drills. You can see an actual jet. Right, my other pump certainly ain't doing that. I think I'm going to have to go back and take it out.